And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Rumble Elusives, our next viewer submitted donation deck today. This one is going to be um, a Zoe Braum for our champions. We got Frail Yor Targon. And so we're going to be um, buffing up some Elusives. We're going to have, you know, Zoe, Lunari Shade Stalker, Sparklefly. These are going to be our main Elusives in our deck. To be able to grow them, we're going to have uh, Starlet Seer. So whenever we're casting our spells, um, buff up those um, cards on top of our deck. We'll have Metro the, the Stones with the support and, of course, getting those gems. And those both also work really well with Braum. And then we're going to have, like, Blessing of Targon, you know, basically Blessing of Braum. <laughs> it's like uh, turn four Braum. And, like, if we have the attack token on turn five, we could play, like, Braum on turn four. Turn five, play Blessing of Targon on the Braum, make it a 3-8 Challenger, regenerate. That should be a pretty awesome combination. Maybe maybe we had a Mentor of the Stones that was still in play for some reason and didn't die, and we can uh, support and make it a 5-10. You never know. Um, yeah, so we'll have, like, that kind of stuff. Um, but then also just putting the, you know, Blessing of Targons on, you know, like a Sparklefly and make it a 4-5 elusive lifesteal. Very powerful as well. So that's, that's the, you know, regular stuff of the deck. But then, boom, at the top end... We're going to have Grandfather Rumel, and that's why I'm calling it Rumel Elusives, because we're playing a couple of these. So, you know, it's it's um, it's huge, it's got Overwhelm, it's got Spell Shield, and then also whenever you play it, you grant two allies, plus zero, plus four, so we can make it more difficult to kill our Elusives with, um, you know, like putting, giving some some of these things plus zero, plus four, um, makes, them, makes them even better. So we got a couple of those. Um, we got some Battle Furies, also same kind of stuff, you know, can can make a huge challenger brom or a huge you know elusive like a zoe or, or sparkle fly or something and then also wild claw in here uh being a big overwhelm threat another another card that's awesome to battle fury alpha wild claw uh that's kind of our deck then just like some different interaction with like hush and moonlight affliction some protection with bastion troll chant um you know flash freeze interaction spell thief you know just so some regular spells just kind of finish it out so Let's give it a try, Rumal Elusives. We're just gonna go play in normal. That's what we do here for our meme tier day. Yeah, gems, Starless here, gems. That's definitely some good synergy. All right, so I don't, I mean the eight mana cards are, are cool and everything, but I don't really want them in my opener. And uh, I think we're just mulligan the sparkle fly also. Cool. Our hand looks a little better now. We get the sparkle fly right back. Get a Zoe as well. So I didn't think there was too much problem with doing this. I don't know like what what they're really doing over here. Like they could have played like Green Glade Duo as like an elusive blocker for the Zoe. Um, but no, it looks like they got the Curse Keeper Ravenous Butcher combo. Gonna start off with a whole bunch of damage. Oh, Sapling Toss is so underrated. That card's pretty awesome. So there goes our Zoe. We'll just take this. Yeah. So I can super cool star charts and look for like maybe like the, the one mana four one. I think that'd be my best hit. Or I could just save the spell mana, play like Braum next turn and be able to Pale Cascade Braum. But that only, you know, unfortunately Pale Cascade these days is just the one one. If it was the plus two plus one, that would be a better option. I think we'll go with this and look for the four one. Okay, or I could get the two one challenger and save a spell mana. No, I want, I want the 4 1. Moon Silver would allow me to play the Shade Stalker this turn. But I like the 4 1 with, uh, going against this 4 3. Who knows? The Isles will bloom again. My shield is my sword. Have you met my shield? No. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Oh, 
<clears throat> Alright, so overall that worked out pretty well for us. Is there a ruination deck? And I need to buff up this Braum. I need to buff up the Braum so that we can have Braum kill Maokai, but I guess if they're gonna have these things. Gross. May have to just buff up this Sparklefly, actually. With this Blessing of Targon. I think we're going to need the the healing to our nexus. Turn it on nightfall. Do I want to trade you, Mighty Poro? Mm. All right, six for Braum. Four choices. That's a lot of choices. What does he want from me? I would like to take heart the Brom. I kind of wish I could have like given the Braum minus two minus zero, but it, you know it doesn't work like that. So I could have reduced Braum's power so that it wouldn't have killed that thing, so their three three would would not have grown. But it doesn't work like that. And the the problem with challenging. The problem with challenging the Maokai is that if I challenge Maokai, Braum does not level up. Forgive me. This is fun, yes? Oh wait, you're not elusive. Is it worth attacking with these overwhelms? Not really. I'm gonna keep them back for blocking. I want their health to be pretty high. Cause I, I'm gonna be like one turn killing them with this Battle Fury and stuff. But at least got Maokai out of here. Corruption everywhere. It's not ideal. Okay, so Maokai levels up. Exactly. Now is the little ones. 
So my current plan is Blessing of Targon on this Grandfather, and then next turn Battle Fury the Grandfather, and so it will be a lethal attacker. That's my current plan. We haven't seen any Ionia cards from them yet. It could be like Deny. It could be the three mana remove, remove uh, Ephemeral from something and give it to something else. That's probably the most likely thing. Oh, Ren Shadow Blade. That's an Ionia card. Make some Shadow Fiends. So it's not lethal anymore with them healing their Nexus. Can I play both of those? I'm one mana short. I'm one mana short from playing both of those. Alright, let's see how they block. They have to block both of my overwhelms with the, the two three health things. Silence. Okay, so this block should be lethal. This will be lethal. There we go. Alright. Battle Fury Grandfather. And yeah, if they had, you know, if they had removal, can't do anything about it because the spell shield. His grandfather has the spell shield. The Battle Fury Grandfather. Is we made along the way. That was a good match. Okay, Riven Lee. We are kind of set up here against Riven Lee. Riven Lee's all about, you know, like buffing something up really big and then like one one turn kill kind of thing. But we do have two hush and a moonlight affliction that's also like a double hush. So I guess I probably should have mulliganed this. I kept the spell thief because you know it's such a good cheap spell. But maybe I should just mulligan that to look, you know, look for those two cards because we really want to draw hush and moonlight affliction. I yeah. Double Starlet Seer. These hands no metal and magic. Another Zoe. Frade ah. I'm gonna take the Moon Silver. Basically, to uh, you know, be another spell for these Starless Seers. Make stuff cost less. So we'll play Super Cool Star Chart and Moon Silver. Um, Crescent Strike, not bad. Stun their stuff. Get that. Make this two mana. Bless 
Judged by snow and stars. Okay. So our next thing is going to be plus six, plus six. Maybe it's like a... Maybe it's a Braum or a Sparklefly. Well, I guess we'll take a Hush. Only I can endure the dragon's fuel. You stunned. Oh, auspicious season. You're not enduring the dragon's fury when you're stunned. Yeah, Starless Ear Control. Alright, so our next unit's gonna be <laughs> plus plus eight plus eight right now. Oh, plus ten plus ten. Alright, never mind. Go get him, Sparkle Fly. <laughs> That's pretty dreamy. And it's all sparkly and everything too. Man, look at how sparkly that sparkle fly is. Okay, okay. Um, I'm thinking about blessing a target on this Zoe. Yeah. It means I won't cast the super cool star chart this, this turn. Be a good That's probably okay. With my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. All right, so we have both hush and flash freeze. It's a good flash freeze draw. So, like, we we're looking good. The biggest problem is if they play five spells and they get to, you know, dragon's rage. This thing. And how it'll bounce the Sparkle Fly and reset Sparkle Fly. I think, like, so if I play Crescent Strike and it gets denied. That can be bad for me. So I kind of think maybe I just go like Flash Freeze or something right now. Because it's not like, you know, we can take eight from this Riven. We have, you know, we have the Sparkle Fly. Actually did <clears throat> level up Lee Sin. I fight with the Fury. They did play five spells. But what I don't really understand is yeah, I'm not sure I really understand this attack too much. What's their plan here? Why is that 3-2 attacking? Like, question number one is why that 3-2 attacking, but also, why why weren't they challenging the Sparkle Fly? What is gained when we return malevolence? Would be a good winter. 
scorched earth. The plane was scorched earth. Why does that deck play scorched earth? Save Sparkle Fly with Hush. So we, I mean, it's still damaged. Hush doesn't. Hush doesn't keep your car from being damaged anymore. That doesn't stop Scorched Earth. Really, just needed some victory symbol. Oh, because it would turn it into a 1-2, so then it wouldn't be damaged anymore. And so if they have a counter spell now, because I have the mana, so if they have a deny, I can try to spell Thief their deny and then deny back. Yeah, Mentor is a 9 9. This will be a good winter. requires concentration. What is gained when you return malevolence? Um, four plus eight is twelve, fourteen. Then they also heal two there. <laughs> no, I need the overwhelm. Uh, I guess I guess this blade of the blade of the exile is overwhelm. It's a slow spell. I, I hope they're out of stun cards. They've played a lot of stun cards. I hope they're out of those. This will be a good winter. River shape the land and give it life. <laughs> All right. So yeah, they have to do some kind of blocking. So I can see what they do. That still puts them to zero. Strike, we will reform. All right, so which one should I battle, Fury? I yeah, I didn't realize it was Blade of the Exile at first. I really didn't. At first, I thought it was like the you know I saw like Quick Attack plus two plus zero. I was thinking it was like those cards, and then I realized, oh wait, okay, never mind. The Blade Blade is the Exile because you know like with they. The you know the blade of the exile costing the one mana that that threw me off for a little bit. I was looking for like just the the blade flag fragment that gave overwhelm. Yeah, how's it feel, opponent, to get cheesed out <laughs> with super big overwhelm things? Getting cheesed out. Strike. Yeah, double crescent strike. Just stunning and everything. That that was pretty crazy. Alright, so we'll start with a Braum. Um Spell Thief's gotta be good against their deck, right? Like with all their like repose and all that kind of stuff. That's gotta be pretty good. Knife Night Moonlight Affliction is probably pretty decent too, but I mean Battle Fury is probably good too. <laughs> this is yeah, I, I go turn five Battle Fury. Think I should keep the Moonlight also. Keep it all. I am one with the land. Who goes there? 
I am a one-man band. Alright, we got... <laughs> this is like Braum alone, right? Like a, you know, like the Fiora alone, Fiora standalone deck? This is like... We're doing that, but Braum. Basically. All in on Braum. Take heart. The balance requires a watchful eye. Ah, this is fun, yes? Mm. Mm. Should I even get the 3 3? Have you met my shield? The 3 3 just kind of dies there. Because the 3 3 gets challenged and killed here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get that 3 3. Yeah, because the 3 3 dies to the to, dies to the Fiora, but at least it I'm I'm hoping the Fiora doesn't get four kills. You know, I shouldn't you know, like I'm not planning on playing like these things, so it probably won't get four kills, but I do need to kind of protect my life total a little bit too. So the, the 3 3 will do that. My shield is yours! Honor dictates both our actions. I sense an imbalance. Try me. Intruders! Nature blesses her followers. So basically it's concerted strike right now that if I if I go if I go with the Battle Fury because of what they've had, you know, if I go Battle Fury block, Braum will have nine power. And so if they have concerted strike, they'll be able to kill the Braum. Otherwise I can go. I don't know, like hush this caretaker and block it or something. I mean, I kind of, I think I just kind of have to go for it. I just, it's the, it's the one card. Like if they have concerted strike, they win the game. If they don't, we have a chance. You are safe with Is he? Even if they go like another barrier here on the Shen, um, that's still not as bad for me. But yeah, so it's not as bad for me. Seven out of ten. First we fight. Show me your best. We should be friends. Good luck. Have fun. Okay. Now we have grown. Level up, bro. Time to protect against them going wide. At least a little bit. A little bit of protection. Don't have to worry about like a Fiora kill right now with no Fioras. Ooh. Sparklefly Battle Fury. For next turn, that would give me... That would mean I can't... Let's see, what can I go... Hmm. I couldn't play Hush and Flash Reese this turn if I want to do Sparkle Fly Battle Fury next turn. Our wills align. Nature blesses her followers. Fear not death. Must we fight? That's fine. All right, flash freeze or hush? I guess flash freeze is better. Yeah, because we can have hush take down a barrier or something. Probably better to save hush. Um, so I can pill cascade and keep this two three alive. I don't know. We'll kind of we'll kind of see what they got. Okay, maybe I should pill cascade. Oh, 
order changes, right. it never breaks. Good, still not concerted strike, very good. Looks like our, our all in Braum deck worked. Let's go, Battle Fury Braum. Nothing, do nothing on turn one, nothing on turn two, nothing on turn three, play Braum on four, Battle Fury on five, and go from there. <clears throat> all right, Helios Israel. Yeah, Harvey's there lying on her back. Stretched out, all comfy. Man, think how good these Battle Furies have been for us. These Battle Furies have been incredible. Every, every game is just like, <laughs> win because of Battle Fury. And there's another one. So I could wait till turn two to play. Kind of my plan with keeping the pill cascade is I could like go like turn one Zoe, turn two pill cascade to be able to protect it. But then since we drew the sparkle fly, now I want to go Zoe on one, sparkle fly on two. Uh, they have a lot of removals. Like there's a lot of different removal spells they have that can kill the Zoe. Like that. Um, but we'll have a sparkle fly on two. If I would have had Troll Chant, I definitely would have waited until turn two. What would have Troll Chant? Alright, good hand. Turn one beam kill Zoe, then Ballistic Bot into Solari Priestess. Good hand. We have uh, we've had a good hand as well. Let us get going. We had these pill cascades really need to be plus two with this Brom. <laughs> really need to... have you met my shield? Safety disengaged. Join me if you want to live. No, thank you. It is easy, see? Can you improve perfection? So are there a deck that I almost assuredly has hush? I think I want to have the Battle Fury on the Braum because of the Hush blowout potential. What's up, Zoe? Got a lot of cards out of their hand. Yeah, including a hush out of their hand. Oh man, it's so this is tempting to put the blessing of Targon on this Braum right now. If I do that, then they can like, you know, then I don't have it to protect the Zoe. I think, I'm, I think I'm supposed to leave it to protect Zoe, but it's it's really tempting to just go Blessing. I am superior life form. Mm. Ah. 
Alright, well that's just gonna help our backup Braum. Ooh, Ren Shadow Blade, that's a good hit. That's probably the three damage. I'm guessing that's going to be the three damage moon weapon to kill the trickster. Can you improve perfection? Yeah. And we're going to say no. Could attack with the Mighty Poro, I guess, or just trade with the, the Ren Shadow Blade, which maybe we should do that. Okay. They didn't have another Hush. That's good. Got to kill Aphelios, also good. Just turns that to generic 3-3. Not the worst. Yuck. Can you improve perfection? That's not good. It's not good. So I can save one thing with Battle Fury. So it's, you know, do I save Zoe or do I save Braum? Braum just blocks a whole lot better here that I'm gonna I'm gonna need to block. Obviously. So we'll go we'll go with that. We'll go with the Braum. Cosmic Rays. Cosmic Rays is pretty rough right there. Larry card's pretty good. of these. We're just going to keep our two champions. They're both very good. Um, don't really need Hush in this matchup. I mean, I don't know, like Hush or Soraka or something. But they're, they're another deck that plays three Hush. So having just like our elusives win against a deck with three Hush. You're just having like a whole bunch of pump spells. Isn't super easy. We do kind of want to go wide with Elisa's. And with Hush costing three mana now, we don't have to worry about attacking on turn two. They Hush, you know, can't have a Hush block on turn two. says, how is star shaping balanced? Um, 
I mean, five mana burst speed heal something five is probably balanced. I don't, I don't really know how <laughs> celestial cards are balanced or moon weapons or just Targon in general, but that's either, that's neither here nor there. I think I'm gonna just hold on to the super cool star charts. No, because what? Should... I want to see what I draw as far as you know. Next turn having Brom with extra spell mana. I don't know. I guess maybe we get the challenger. Okay. I know, like the challenger is not going to really help against that thing, but I like that um, the challenger helps protect against um, Hush. Won't let them block. I'm going to be throwing away the challenger because I assume, <clears throat> assuming they play like whatever other blocker. Never mind, they did not play another blocker. Are they going to be able to buff for three? No. But that's what I was going to do. Assuming they played another blocker, I'd have the Serpent be able to challenge the other blocker and have my Elusives hit them. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, but I know them all. That's a good thing to silence. I'll protect you. Yeah, that's a good thing to silence. Put just a big beast out here. Thomas is pretty good at eating up, you know, Brahms and Zoe's and stuff like that. Take this in case they play another broadback protector. I've got this. What is this attack about? They're gonna use what, like a pale cascade or something? Astral protection. With the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Blizda. I appreciate that. I'll be happy to accommodate, Pablo. So that's too bad they, they put another blocker in play. I was hoping they didn't have another blocker. But still, that's not a very good blocker. You know, because it's like this big overwhelmed thing. It's gonna put them down to five. So I guess I force them to have hush and and them use the hush right now. Oh no hush! Okay, they didn't have it. 
They did not have it. And yet another win for Battle Fury. Yeah, four wins for Battle Fury. That card, whoops. I don't want to take you out of the deck, Battle Fury. You were great. That card was spectacular. We got to Battle Fury a Grandfather Rumel for a win. We got to Battle Fury a Braum for a win. We got to Battle Fury a um, Sparklefly for a win. And then also Battle Fury a Zoe. Yeah, that's what we did for the other win. So yeah, we got to, so four wins, um, all four different things that we battle furied. Um, yeah, that card was awesome. So just a, a pretty fun deck to play. I really like playing Braum. I think that Braum was my favorite card in the deck. Um, Braum was a lot of fun playing this and, and playing Braum with, like Blessing of Targon was, was low-key really good, right? Like that was a card that was just in here being pretty awesome. We got to Blessing of Targon, um, you know, Braum and make it a 3-8, and 3-8 challenger in a world of Aphelios. Not bad. Not bad. So that was pretty good. And uh, then, you know, we just had our, our regular, like, Zoe Sparklefly type stuff that was pretty awesome. We had the one game with the Starlet Seers that was pretty cool. Um, so, you know, fun fun deck to play here. And uh, in particular, I really like playing Braum. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think about Zoe Braum together. You know, maybe uh, what else you got here for Grandfather Rumel decks? Have you been playing anything else with Grandfather Rumel? Or, uh, you know, have any any other comments like that? I would love to, love to hear them. All right, but that's all I got here for Rumel Elusives. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.